So after covering the first three options that is structure, for, uh, elements, friends, now we'll focus on the utilities. Utilities are nothing but the tools which will help us make the design more easy. So these tools can be used as shortcuts for inserting elements at a faster way. So we'll go one by one. The first one is insert more than one element. So when you click on this option, click on the zone. We have four options to insert the elements. So first one is partition, second in the shelf, zone partition, central layer. So if you, if you need partitions in horizontal direction of three quantity. So automatically, considering the zone, we have three different three partitions equally divided in this particular zone. The same way, I'll undo this. I need any shelf, I need shelf or two quantity. When you click OK, automatically we will get two shelves equally divided on, the, on that particular zone. And again, I will do I'll undo this option. And similar way, we can also insert the partition. This can be done horizontal or vertical orientation. So, if we insert vertical and insert two zone partition, we will get two zone partition to see that zone partition. You can see there are two equal zone partitions. So this is how we insert the different elements using insert more than one element option. So I will undo this option. Okay. Now what I do is I will show you how to use this insert more than one uh, this insertion measure option. So when you should uh, when you when you want to use this option, when you go to utility, click this once and go to any elements for example if you want to insert partition when you click here you will get then pop-up box like this so asking insertion uh, element insertion it will ask us if you need to insert at center or lower or upper so if you need at center click on center click ok automatically it will be taken at the center and if you need to place at certain distance for example if you are placing at the uh, interdimensional distance of 100 or 150, automatically the partition will be placed. So initially, if you are not enabling this, what will happen is I'll just show you. I'll uh, decide this insertion measure. We go to partition. So when you click, automatically there it will be placed. It will not ask any option where to place. You should again click here. We should enter manually again. So if you are using this option and go to the partitions. So each and every time it will ask us the distance at which, uh, at which we must place. So we also we have lower and right, uh, left and right options. So if you click on right option, automatically it will uh, get adjusted on the nearest panel to the right. The same way, if we click on left, uh, that we can see it will go to the left. The same way, the orientation is horizontal. When you click, it will ask upper and lower. If you click lower. It will take the lower uh, nearest panel and if you click on upper it will take the nearest upper panel so this is how we insert the uh, elements using insertion machine and the third option the utility is empty cabinet so empty cabinet can be used after designing you feel these partitions are not needed and we should design from the first instead of deleting the whole cabinet if we need to uh, for example we have the doors also uh, i'll just Insert a door. Insert a door. Now we feel that we must remove everything except the carcass. In that case, go to the empty cabinet option. And when you click yes, automatically everything, including the doors, hinges, drawer, drawer boxes, partitions, everything that will, will get removed, will be only left with the carcass. So that's the three options. Now we'll focus on the shaping option. So shaping usually we will use it do, uh, for the doing the cola profile. So now we will see how to do the cola profile. When you click on insert, we have finger pull option. Click enter. After selecting finger pull, click enter. Now it will ask the number of gola, gola profile we need. So if we need to enter two. Here we must enter the uh, profile size. So usually the size is uh, 26 and 56. So I'll say what are these uh, square boxes. We should uncheck this option. I'll say show you, show you why in the later part of this video. So when you click OK, we'll get the cutout like this. So again, I'll show you. Here we have the distance as 55 and 55, and the intermediate distance is 305. 
but usually the upper gola will be of 6 cm and the in between gola will be of sub 2 cm so automatically we will get the gola profile of that particular shape so uh, saying about deselecting this focus so this is nothing but we usually use aluminum gola profiles so if we enable this options what will happen is you will get a wooden gola profile so which you, which you can use if you are using in your industry or most commonly we will not use this type of gola profile so we can avoid this so we go to shaping go to, uh, click on the star option click on finger pull click enter and we can deselect this in that case you will get only the a cola profile not the, the, the wooden strips and in some cases if you are constructing a wall unit you will need also need the bottom lower gola in that case you select this insert lower gola and click apply in that case you will also get the bottom gola in case of a wall unit so this is how you insert the gola profile so in this case you can go and insert the drawer box directly automatically the zone will be divided you can insert the drawer box you need for example i select the drawer model structure drawer and i leave 13 mm on the both sides and i will give tolerance 10 mm on the top and the bottom i click apply the same way here and also insert the drawer fascia I click on external door. I'll insert two drawer fascia. And again, we will see there is a no tolerance between these two. So to adjust the tolerance, we'll go to zone. Click on that particular zone. And here from bottom, I'll make it zero. If I make it zero, we can see the drawer fascia will not cover the bottom, uh, the gola profile. The same way we need to extend this above above i'll uh, extend to 50. so if you see in side view we can see we'll get this type of profile so this is how we design the cola profile in flash 3d and the last utility which will you will see is uh, measure so to measure the dimension of the carcass at a faster rate, you can use this option. You can just see 720 height. So it will give the real distance. It will show the real distance and it will also show the, uh, the distance along X, Y, and Z. So these are the four uh, basic requirements of the utilities.